What's up, fanboys and fangirls? Welcome to another episode of the Fanboys Anonymous Minuteman Reviews, where I'm the man who gives you a full review in one minute. My name is Tony Mango, and today I'm going to be talking about the Marvel Netflix television series, Jessica Jones. I just binge-watched all of the episodes, very, very tired, but I wanted to make sure that I got an opinion out as quickly as possible to tell you guys whether or not you should watch it. So without further ado, let's start the clock right now, many kudos to Kristen Ritter for being able to make Jessica Jones a very likable hero despite how much of a total bitch she is. Part of what humanizes her is her moral opposite with Luke Cage, who I'm also digging very much. And the only duo that plays off each other better than Jessica and Luke is Jessica and Kilgrave, one of the best villains that the MCU has ever had. His story is extremely dark and trigger warnings are off the charts, tackling a different subject matter we've yet to see explored in superhero films. In true MCU fashion, the style of the show is very different and has a nice noir detective atmosphere with a lot of flair, but I don't think that this story has enough to justify 13 episodes. Far too much time is wasted on extraneous plot points that serve no purpose other than to pad out an episode and then get randomly dropped like with Will Simpson. For that matter, I could have done without the incest twins entirely, as well as Jerry Hogarth's divorce and Trisha's mommy issues, and would have preferred to just see a tighter story. All in all, it's a solid watch, but nowhere near as good as Daredevil. You might struggle to binge it all in one shot, and there's a lot of crap you have to sift through to get to the great stuff, but there are indeed some great stuff along the way, and I recommend it for sure. Well, my time is up, but I want to thank you all for checking out this review. That's the short end of what I thought about Jessica Jones, but if you enjoyed this and you want to hear more of my opinion on the show, check out my Making the Great article on fanboysanonymous.com and stay tuned for our Review Point podcast coming up later in the week as well, which is where we're going to break down the season as a whole and really delve into specifics. Make sure you click that subscribe button, hit us up on iTunes and Stitcher, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and leave your comments below telling us what you thought of Jessica Jones. This is your Minute Man, Tony Mango, signing off and geeking out. See you next time, everybody.